Well, unless you've been living under a social media rock, you've heard about the idea of selling the Snyderverse over to Netflix. This social media campaign has gotten a lot of momentum, and now Zack Snyder has finally responded to the campaign, and although it doesn't seem like he's coming back anytime soon, it does appear that his relationship with DC and Warner Brothers is much better. Well, I can't speak for everybody here, but to me, it's super clear that Warner Brothers has absolutely no intention of restoring the Snyderverse or even selling the Snyderverse to Netflix. There's a multitude of reasons why I don't think this will ever happen and it has nothing to do with the merit. It's just not a direction I think Warner Brothers will ever allow this to go in. Now, for a while now, fans of Zack Snyder have been really pushing hard for this, and I know a lot of fans are pretty excited about the possibilities. Now, recently, Zack Snyder was talking to film junkies, and he was asked on his thoughts about the campaign, and weirdly, he responded with a shrug. But then he added, What's probably amazing to learn is that my influence over these things is very small. Truth is, I mean, it would be amazing if whatever control over that IP exists, I don't. That's not my part. That's not my role. That's, as they say, above my pay grade. Now, I think this was a pretty precise thing to say on the record, and I think it's a great way of saying it's not his decision, but I did notice he didn't clarify whether he wanted to or not. I mean, I'm sure he would, but he definitely didn't campaign for it in this event. Now, in this interview, though, he did really go out of his way to throw a lot of praise on Warner Brothers' current management and DC Studios for allowing his upcoming event known as Full Circle. They're actually screening his three DC movies as part of an event down in Los Angeles. Sorry, it's already sold out. And I think it's kind of a farewell as the creator moves on to his new franchise, Rebel Moon, which honestly does look pretty good. Now, when he was talking about Warner Brothers, he said, Warner Brothers, as far as the screening event is concerned, have been incredible. The group is now beyond. Beyond kind and caring and personal, and it's been amazing to work with them, so I have no complaints. Beyond that, as far as the creative goes and what they're planning, I have honestly been too busy shooting this movie. I have no idea what they're up to. Now, I have to say, it is nice to see that he's repairing that relationship with them. No matter what you think of any of his projects, they definitely mistreated a guy shortly after the death of his daughter. So I'm glad the new management and DC Studios are playing nice with Zack Snyder. Now, this does seem to debunk the claims that he's been eyeing to take a part in the new DCU and work with James Gunn on his new plan. He has referred to Gunn as a buddy after they worked on Dawn of the Dead, so I don't think that's an impossibility, but whatever rumors have been floating around that that's actually happening, once again have turned out to be not true. For right now, we're going to have to be satisfied with Rebel Moon. We're going to get a couple movies there and a couple versions of those movies, and I am really looking forward to what he's bringing. As far as him returning to the DCU, I think it's going to take some time to work out, and what project he would ultimately return in, we'll have to wait and see.